I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk about trends that were really big in 2023 that are still going to be going strong in 2024. And these are trends that are absolutely wearable. I think you're going to love them. And I talk about trends because I think they're fun and I think they just get us ready for what's going to be going on in the season and what we're going to see in case we want to, you know, update our wardrobes and buy some things or pull some things out that we already have in our closet that were from years ago because, you know, trends cycle through the ages. So um, this is just a fun video. It's not anything you have to do, but it's something that I love to talk about. So definitely, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So one of my favorite trends and actually the biggest skirt trend for 2023 was the max skirt and I did a video on styling a denim maxi because that was kind of my skirt of the season and so if you want to check that out I'll link it for you here and in the description below but the maxis are going to be going strong in 2024 it's probably going to be the biggest skirt trend and in my previous trends video I did talk about the knee length skirt coming back but I do think the maxi is going to reign supreme that's just my opinion and I do think it's a fun skirt to wear in the spring and summer I think you can do a lot with it and you know you can create some really cute outfits with sandals and even a maxi dress is going to work really well. So if you prefer a dress over a skirt, then you could do that. But I know the maxi skirt's not for everyone because they can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you're shorter, but I'm a little petite and I can wear a maxi skirt. So it's just how you style it. And I think there are a lot of options out there for different body types. So you're not just seeing the full, you know, big maxi skirts that are flowy, but there's a lot of pencil versions and just different things that you can choose from. And hopefully this is something that you guys are excited about because I am. I think it's going to be a good trend. It's not going to go anywhere and I think it's going to be one of the biggest skirt trends in 2024. So if you are the type of girl that loves wearing blingy things or loves shiny things then this will be the year for you because metallics are going to be really big. Silver was big in 2023. It's still going to continue but I talked about in my last video gold is going to be really big again and who you know we never know. We're probably going to see other colors in metallics as well but the key here is is the metallics are not just in your accessories or you know your jewelry or handbags you're going to see it in the clothing so your tops and your bottoms and for fall and winter there were a lot of silver jeans which I thought were really interesting and we'll see those again and we're also going to see gold denim which I have already seen and so there are a lot of really great options in gold and we'll probably see other colors other than silver and gold and I love the metallics I think it's a great way to add just a little pizzazz to your wardrobe even in a t-shirt so I've seen some t-shirts that are metallic and I just think that's a really cool way to just have something a little bit more unique and a little bit more fun so I would love to know what you think of the metallic clothing and if this is something that you would get into another fun trend that's going to continue into 2024 is leather and in particular leather on leather and I didn't get into the leather on leather trend or faux leather on faux leather if you don't want to wear real leather and I did love the faux leather I have a pair of pants that I have worn and then I have some leather jackets like my moto jacket that I love. I do think this is a perfect option for winter because it will keep you warm but when we get into spring and summer definitely stick to items like maybe faux leather shorts and you know there have been sets where you saw tank tops that were faux leather and then maybe even some dresses that would be good in a jumpsuit. So otherwise I probably wouldn't do the faux leather blazers and pants and things like that in the spring and summer unless it was a really chilly night but I do think this is a fun trend. It's going to continue it's probably going to be really big next fall and winter so I uh, just wanted to mention it in case you love this trend and you know that it's going to continue to move forward so not only is leather on leather moving forward but denim on denim is also moving forward so if you love denim and you love this trend it's going to continue into 2024 and I love denim there has been a lot of denim for 2023 especially the fall and winter there were a lot of shoes and handbags that were also made in denim so Denim's always been big, but it just seems like it's getting bigger. And wearing denim on denim just naturally follows suit with that. So you can do a lot of different options with denim on denim. And, you know, they don't have to match anymore. I, although matching is good. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that sometimes. But I will wear lighter denim with like darker black denim like I have on here. I have a gray. So I don't mind mixing colors. But if you're doing the same blues, you just kind of have to get in the same family and figure out what works. So a new style in blazers that has become a little bit popular during 2023 is the nipped in waist blazer. And so I should call this maybe the peplum blazer, but this blazer has a lot of shape to it, which is 
so refreshing since we have had just the oversized blazers that not everybody can wear and they're a little bit masculine. And then you have your cropped blazers that not everybody can wear either. And of course, not everybody can wear the nipped in waist, but they definitely look better on more body shapes. And I love the ones that I've seen that kind of have that peplum effect and there's all different materials and styles that you're going to find there. You'll find some shorter, you'll find some longer, some with pinstripe. I mean, just about anything goes. And I just think they are so pretty. I've even seen some that tie in the waist that I love. That is a, a trend that has been going for a little while too. And I think we're going to continue to see these in 2024. And hopefully we will see some short sleeve options. So the ones that button up and tie in the waist, you can just wear them as a top, which I think is a really good option and really flattering. So a trend that I did not talk about much in 2023 was a vest. And of course, I've talked about vests like these, which I wore this in this video because I'm going to talk about vests. And I think these are popular. Um, you know, just your denim vest or even your sweater vest were really big in fall and winter. But the one vest that I want to talk about is the suit vest. So the one that buttons up the front. And the interesting thing about this trend that I have seen is that people are wearing them by themselves just as tops. And I think this is a great way to wear it in the spring and summer. And, you know, I've seen some people wear it with suits. And I do think that's great. It has a really cool look to it that is very on trend. But just wearing these as tops buttoned up, with you know a pair of shorts and some sandals or even some sneakers I think is a fun way to go for spring and summer but this is not something I have gotten into it's something I wore several years ago and I got rid of mine um, but maybe I'll pick it back up in the spring and summer but we'll see and I would love to know if you love this suit vest and I also have seen some knit vests some really fun layering knit vests that you could do for spring and summer that are lighter weight you know of course we had the sweater vest in the fall and winter which have been trending for a while but the newest one is kind of that suit vest, which I wanted to mention it because I really haven't yet. And I think it's going to be a very big trend in 2024. So one of the biggest trends, and I think one of the newest trends in 2023 was the micro kitten heel. And this is definitely going to continue, especially since it's a trend that just started. So we will see a lot of these in 2024. And I got into this trend for fall and winter. I ended up getting a knee high boot and an ankle boot, and I really loved wearing them, but I discovered that they really lend themselves more to your dressier looks. So they just add a dressier element to them so they're a little less versatile especially if you have a really casual wardrobe but for the spring and summer you'll see a lot of slingback options that I wanted to show you here and some mules so a lot of these I have found are pointed toes because pointed toes were also a big trend and since I'm talking about this I wanted to mention the elongated pointed toes they were showing a lot of these on the runway show I could only find one but supposedly that pointed toe is getting even longer so if you don't love those pointed toes you're probably going to hate these and definitely it's one of those things that it kind of looks a little dangerous to wear but I thought these were really interesting so I wanted to mention them but definitely that micro kitten heel I think it is something that is easy to wear especially since it is lower to the ground and it's a little bit refreshing to have something different other than your chunky shoes and you know all those block heels so definitely if you like more feminine and prettier shoes this would be a good option and I think we're going to also see this option in some sandals although I haven't found a whole lot yet I think they will be out there for spring and summer so so if you follow trends, you're probably familiar with old money style and quiet luxury being two of the biggest trends for 2023. And I think they're going to continue, but I want to talk about this in terms of like preppy fashion, because I think preppy fashion is going to be the big thing. And this is just wearing clothing that looks expensive and you're neat and put together. And you just have what I would consider more of Ralph Lauren style. And I absolutely love this. I think of brands like Banana Republic that have gone back to their roots, which is very classic and a lot of these pieces are a little expensive but have a lot of longevity in your wardrobe and I think that's what people are craving and I don't think that's going to end so I definitely think that preppy fashion is going to reign supreme as one of the biggest styles for 2024 that people are going to love so something that is a very big part of preppy fashion in my opinion is the polo shirt and this is something that is very classic and it hasn't always been on trend it comes and goes of course like everything does but it was really big in 2020 23, especially in the fall and winter with sweaters and you're going to see it a lot more in 2024 even in some dresses so you'll see a lot of polo collared style dresses and I do think that this is definitely part of that preppy fashion that old money style and quiet luxury look because it does have a really classic appeal to it and a lot of people can wear these styles and it's an easy throw on that looks really good so if you like collars and like that preppy style this is definitely going to be something that we will 
see in 2024. So I wonder if there will ever come a time where I do not talk about a white button up shirt because the white button up shirt has reigned supreme for several seasons now as a trend. It has gone through so many different iterations and you know we have gotten to where we can find a white button up shirt in just about any material and any style. And instead of them being the crisp, you know, work wear, it's the loose cotton easy wear styles. And that is what's going to go into 2024. But this is a little bit different. They're calling this an undone white button up shirt. So you're going to wear it a little bit differently. It's still that slouchy kind of relaxed fit button up shirt, but maybe put it on with a bra top underneath that's a contrasting color, or maybe tuck it into a skirt and leave it hanging out the bottom. I thought that was really interesting and I actually found this picture on Anthropology, and it's actually built into the skirt and then they just put the top with it. So I just thought it was really interesting. I don't know if anyone would actually wear this. Let me know if you would, but it's just kind of creating an undone look, kind of a messy look The you know, you're not, it's not the crisp white button up shirt. It's the messy white button up shirt. And you know, they have to do different things with um, different items to make them a little bit more interesting and keep them trending. And so that's what we're doing with the white button up shirt now. And I'm not sure how I would wear it in 2024. I haven't really thought about it yet, but I do think that there are some cool ways that you can style it with some of the different items like metallics and things like that, that are fun. And you know, a white button up shirt is a great classic piece. And if you can use it multiple ways in your wardrobe, then I say, hey, go for it. And if that means that you get a little bit of a messy, undone look, then definitely do it. I think it is a fun way to think about something that is a little bit more classic. And so thank you for watching. I love talking about trends, like I said, and I don't think this is set in stone. It's definitely my opinion. And these are things that I think are going to be popular that I absolutely loved, uh, but you definitely don't have to wear these. And thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and I will talk to you next time.